In this video we are going to learn how to configure an external authentication server. To create and edit an external authentication server, go to Network Access, UPAM and External Source. First, we are going to see how to create an external RADIUS server. Click on the Create button. Name the server and enter its IP address. In case of a secondary IP address, fill the field backup host name or IP address. Then enable the option Is this a RADSEC server? With the option RADSEC, the RADIUS server transfers data over TCP and TLS for increased security. Change the TLS port if needed. And import the RADSEC certificate and RADSEC trust certificate authority in a new page. Configure then the advanced parameters of the RADIUS server, such as the number of retries, the timeout delay and the authentication and accounting ports. Enter the secret key configured on the external RADIUS server. And enable or disable the preemption. When enabled, after a failover to the backup external RADIUS server, OmniVista will wait this amount of time before attempting to go back to the primary external RADIUS server. After the creation of the server, you can check the server information. UPAM also provides integration with Azure Active Directory via the Certificate Connector for Microsoft, enabling support for employee 8021x clients utilizing EAP TLS. Select Cloud Identity and click on Create. Enter the required parameters to ensure the connection to the Azure Active Directory. You can now use these external servers as a new source of authentication for one of your SSID. Edit a SSID, like employee, that can be modified. Under the section Authentication Strategy, select your external authentication server, RADIUS or Cloud Identity. And complete the update process of the SSID to validate this change.